and welcome to the Yog with Casey, Stephen, and Norma, because there's four characters on this oh. Okay, so the Yog's gonna well, be here in six weeks. Really well. <laughs> no one expects it, except for us, because it just told us about it. Not a one of us, except for us. Just keep on living our lives week by week, unaware. Except we are aware. <laughs> Alright, um, who's- okay, Norma, you're first. Oh god. You're the blue. Where would you like to go? Slums, Hospital, Tavern, Palace, Gardens, Alchemy Tower, Arena. Forest, I didn't remember all of them. Oh, let's go to the gardens. Of course you can right. go to the gardens. Gardens. Do you want to landscape or meditate? <laughs> I'll meditate. I'll meditate. You spend a week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day a toothless old woman approaches you. I have a small pouch of magic beans! Would you be interested in purchasing them? I know how the story goes. <laughs> Hell yeah. No. <laughs> no thanks? Well, you don't have any ma money, so you can't buy them anyway, so no thanks. She walks away disappointed. There's no such thing as magic beans, you mutter to yourself. <laughs> you gain one mind for being smart. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um, who's... Alright, Steven, you're next. Uh, Verena. Verena. Wanna murder some shit. Compete in a fight or bet on a fight? Oh, compete in a fight. Hells yeah. Spend the week fighting brutes in this arena. You gain two physique and one finesse. 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 I have some finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. Yeah. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. What? He takes you to court. Oh, yeah. Offer to settle, defend yourself. Um, defend myself. I've been doing it the entire week. You object, but you can't seem to convince the judge. I don't think you have enough charm. I'm not he right. rules the, in the plaintiff's favor and orders you to perform community service. You gain one physique and one finesse. Oh, whatever. Unfortunately, the boring task takes a toll on you mentally. You lose one mind. <laughs> I'm losing my mind already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's me. Um, no, I'm gaming it. I'm gonna go to. You spend the entire week getting wasted. Accurate. You gain two charm and one physique. How do I gain physique from getting drunk? I don't know. I think mirror goggles? Uh, just running uh, back and forth to the bar and like to the seat, I guess. I don't think it's one running. One day a bar pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible uh, and ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decide to do something about it, oh god. Convince him to leave, challenge him to a <laughs> duel. Um... I am not going to challenge him to a loot duel. Loot duel anyway. You approach the bar and let him know that his tavern, that the tavern down the road is well known for their big tippers. Buzz off the bar yells drunkenly. You walk away giving a well I tried sort of look to the other patrons. What a blow to your confidence, you lose much. <laughs> oh well. Damn. <laughs> Harsh. Alright, Casey, where would you like to go? You can go to the palace? Palace. Alright. You look like you I look so happy. Do administration work or attend a ball? Attend ball. Of course you would attend. You spend the week <laughs> attending fancy gatherings. Ooh, so fancy. You gain two charm and one finesse. One day you accidentally bump into a duke. Watch where you're going, you filthy peasant. <laughs> he shoves you out of the way with his hand and continues walking. Passive aggressive response, <laughs> active aggressive response. What kind of aggressive what? do you want to be? <laughs> active aggressive. Active aggressive. You shove him back. He stumbles slightly. That was kind of lame. <laughs> <laughs> You lose one charm. Uh. Uh, they say the last time it came, the Yogg devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. So long ago. Alright, Norma, where would you like to go? Um... Is that the Eye of Sauron tower? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. The Alchemy Tower? Uh, clean lab or brew potion? Um... Decisions, decisions. Come on, med school, here you go. There's a hospital. <laughs> no, I'm, I was thinking about next. Uh, let me brew a potion. Alright. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You look so evil in that picture. You gain two magic and one mind. Yes. One day you can hear cries for help coming from the next room. Oh, no. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists there have accidentally created an ooze monster. Shit. How do you dispatch the ooze? Punch the ooze into submission? <laughs> Blast the ooze with magic? What's my mind? My mind's pretty high. Your magic is at 8 and your mind is at 9. I think I maybe do your this. Your physique is at 5. Blast I don't think 
punching an ooze. Like, you just, like, go through it. It's punch like, the ocean? Unless like it's punching. on a Newtonian liquid, in which case, if you hit it hard enough, it stops like a brick. Yeah, you try hard. magicking it? Yeah, let's magic okay, it. Blast it. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with an array of magical spells. The alchemists all cheer. Hooray! Oh. You gain one charm. Yay! Yay. Oh. All right, Steven, where would you like to go? Right up. Again? I'm getting hard for this fight, <laughs> all right? Compete in the fight. Compete in the fight. <clears throat> uh, you spend a week fighting birds. You get too busy for finesse. One night on your way home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Pick it up or leave it. Pick it up. Hell yeah, it's a rusty dagger. As you pick it up, you hear a voice from behind you whisper, You're not worthy. Not worthy. The dagger begins to dissolve into a black smoke. Within seconds, the blade is gone. Right, okay, then. then. Um, well, fuck you. What do I have going for me? I got some charm going for me. Um, I'm going to go back to the tavern. <laughs> but I'm a bartender this time. Okay. Spend the week serving drinks at the Buck Tavern. So far. Gain one wealth and gain two charm. Not money. One day the tavern throws its annual oh dart tournament. <laughs> enter. Sp I'm gonna enter it because I'm actually gonna darts in real life. You sign up for the dart tournament, ready to prove your dart throwing prowess. You play the worst game of darts anybody's ever seen. Shit. You managed to break several glasses and narrowly missed someone's head. At least you missed. You came dead last. Somebody there wrote a song of how poorly you did and it's quickly become the most popular tune in the town. You know what's that? It's probably, that, that's probably that bard that you were trying to run off. Yeah, probably that probably. asshole. He's right. like, hey, hey, that bitch. <laughs> Where would you like to go, Casey? Um, the, um, the forest. Forest. Would you like to chop wood or hunt? Hunt. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. Quite you gain really. two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. Yeah. One day, you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, sir, would you care to dance? She asks. You've been dancing all Hell week. yeah. I've been, I've been wanting to <laughs> dance for so long, but nobody else has been around to dance with, she sighs. You'd love I'd to love dance. to dance, I just danced all week. <laughs> <laughs> she giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You accidentally step on her toes several times while dancing. Good job. Oh. After the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. You practice dancing a little. You gain one finesse. Okay. <laughs> it was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook and the air went still. Still. Alright, Norma? Um. Uh, let's do hospital. Clean up or tend to the patients? Patients, clean up. Clean up? Right. Yeah. Spend the week stealing your mind against the horrors of the hospital, making sure it is as clean as it can be! Hooray! You gain one vine, fun physique, and earn one wealth. Yes. One day, while in the maternity ward, you Ugh. notice a woman about to give birth. The baby she births is no ordinary baby, however. Is Sick. she a dragon baby? The skin is pitch black and it's oh my god, it's a dragon baby! It wrestles itself from the doctor's hand and tries to fly away! Oh it's a dragon! <laughs> Stop that demon! Yells the doctor. Use your strength or use your magic. Probably your magic, right? Probably. You I have like 10 mind and fucking 8 magic. magic. Yeah. Use magic. your magic. Magic. I don't have any strength. With the wave of your hand, you put up a magical barrier blocking the exit. The demon bounces right off it and collapses onto the ground. Quick thinking. You gain one mind. Yeah. The doctor runs up with a scalpel and quickly slits the <laughs> demon's throat! Your mouth goes agape at the doctor's merciless killing of a baby. He shrugs my and goes, so baby! All my hopes and dreams of ruling the world gone! I wanted the baby. You are no baby. Where would you like to go to the arena? Slums. Slums. Shit, I'm gonna go Pickpocket or fight crime? Oh, fight, fight crime. Fight crime is an option? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at me, I got a fucking, I got a fucking bandana on my face. <laughs> You're He's fucking mobbing this shit. Outsmarting and beating up criminals. You gain one mind, one physique, and one finesse. One night you hear women whisper at you oh, from- Oh, oh shit, fucked. I know how this is gonna go. You're fucked. You're fucked. Uh, whisper at you from nearby. Hey you, she calls out, looking to make a bit of coin. I'm always up for more coin. No thanks. <laughs> no thanks. I don't trust ladies tonight. Despite your intention to say no, you find yourself completely what? giving into her will completely. She signals for you to go into the alleyway with her. Come I closer. Nobody else can hear what I'm about to tell you. You lean in close, eager to learn how you'll be earning this coin. She presses herself right up against you, moving her lips slowly towards your ear. Ooh. Suddenly she bites your neck viciously! Oh, no. Blood pours from the wound and she clings to you tightly, lapping it all up. You block out. When you come to, you, you see her standing over you. Thanks, she says, tossing you a couple of coins. You gain one wealth. <laughs> she then melts into the shadows. 
Oh, when you feel your neck, you notice your wound has healed completely. Your body feels ice cold. You gain three charm! I'm dead! You lose three physique. Fuck! <laughs> All right. Um, I have basically nothing going for me, so I'm just gonna go back to the tavern. I'm bartending again. You spend the week serving drinks at the tavern. No, you don't have to throw darts. You earn one wealth and tips and gain two charming. Very charming. One day, while in the tavern, you hear a large commotion outside. You go outside the bar. I'm gonna go outside. Outside, you see a crowd of angry people Ugh. carrying torches and pitchforks. Shit. You're fucked. Kill the dry. Oh, it's a oh dry no. They sh- they're gonna kill your girlfriend <laughs> in this sort of synchronized. Company. They are all running to the middle of the town. Working your way through a mob, you find the dryad running away. Oh no. I was just looking for someone to dance with! <laughs> she sobs. <laughs> you shout at the top of your lungs for the crowd to stop what they're doing. You hear murmurs in the crowd. Soon enough, the crowd disperses. The dryad runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. Oh. You're stealing <laughs> Casey's girl. Haha! <laughs> 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 uh, Mrs. Stealing Your Girl. <laughs> I'm on my way to stealing your girl. Steal your girl. <laughs> you feel energy radiate through your body. You gain three finesse. Oh. Oh. Um, where would you like to go, Casey? Finesse. You know what they did afterward. Mm. <laughs> um, get in some. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the palace. Palace. Do administration work or attend the ball? Uh, administration work. You spend the week doing paperwork for the palace. You're paid two wealth and gain one mind. Hooray! One day you overhear a jester tell a joke to a group of people. Everyone laughs, but you didn't understand the joke at all. Ask for an explanation, try and figure out the joke on your own. Try and figure it out. Several hours later, you, fi- you figure it out, and a small chuckle is had. All that thinking gave your mind a workout. You gain one mind. Yeah. Woo-hoo.